and welcome back to our next month's principal book chat. Um, this is another phenomenal book chosen by our Atlanta Public Schools SEL department. And this month we're reading Those Shoes by Mary Beth Belts and Noah Jones. And this is another great story that teaches us a lot about self-awareness and empathy. And I love how the story really took a change in the middle, uh, Mr. Hudson. And it was about Jeremy who wanted those new shoes, those new shoes that everybody had, uh, but he just did not have the means to get them. Uh, what were your thoughts about the story? I can empathize with him because as a child growing up, there were certain styles and fashions. And you know, going back to my days back in the 80s, I think one of the hot shoes were the shell tops mm -hmm. Adidas. And I never got a pair. That was because my parents said, hey, listen, we have more important things to deal with than buying $80 shoes back then. So the answer was no. I felt the way that the, the student felt in the story because guess what? Just like he couldn't get those brand new shoes, I couldn't get them growing up either. Yeah, and we know that you know shoes don't make the person, the clothes don't make the person. It's really what's inside that matters. And getting back to a point that you made, uh, the grandmother said, we don't have any room for want. We just have room for need. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That they have to focus on the things that are more important than yet. You can get a pair of sneakers that cost $80, but then in turn, you can also get a pair of sneakers, a pair of boots, a pair of dress shoes, and things that you need for that same amount of money. So why spend all that money just to get one pair of shoes? Yeah. You know, and then I loved the grandmother and how caring she was because she tried to do everything she could to get Jeremy those new shoes. And they ended up going to the thrift store, yep. and Jeremy bought a pair of shoes, and it was cheap. But what happened to those shoes? They were too small. They were too small, right? Yeah. So, you know, I guess what we learned after that is Antonio enters the picture, and we learned that Antonio was the only person that didn't laugh at Jeremy when he came in with his old shoes, right? Mm -hmm. What ended up happening after that? So after that, um, you know, Jeremy, seeing that Antonio needed new shoes because he saw what was going on with the shoes and that they were ripped and tattered. He said, you know what? I have these shoes, they're too small for me. Why don't I give them to my friend Jeremy? Yeah, and I think what was really special was when Jeremy took a look at the shoes that were given to him by his really sweet counselor, kind of like our counselor who does the same things, he hated the shoes that he had on, right? But when he saw his shoes, the ones that he wanted, that didn't fit him, on his friend Antonio, what happened? So that's where we really go into the self-awareness piece. And that's just knowing who you are, how you feel about your own emotions, and you're able to name and describe them. And I'll read what he says. I feel happy when I look at his face and mad when I look at Mr. Alfrey's shoes. So he was happy to see the joy that his friend had because he gave him those nice pair of shoes. But then when he looked down at his old Velcro shoes, it made him upset. Mm -hmm. That's true. But, um, you know, happiness prevailed, and I loved that Jeremy was so kind, and he went to his door, and even anonymously rang the doorbell, left him on there, and ran away, right? Because he knew he wasn't going to get the shoes, he knew they weren't going to fit him, he knew his feet were only going to be hurt, but he wanted to give them to somebody who really could use them, and I think that's ultimately what made him really happy. And that's what happiness and joy should be. It should be about what we do for others and not about the possessions that we have. Because some people get caught up in possessions. Oh, I have shoes, I have clothes, I have all these things. But that's not true happiness. True happiness is being able to share and help one another and see the good things that you can do for yeah, someone else. You're right, and it's really what's on the inside that counts, right? That's it. So as we wrap up this month's book talk, we are in our kindergarten, new kindergarten IB play space, which is where I see all sorts of empathy and self-awareness and kindness taking place every day as our kindergartners learn through play. So we wanted to highlight that room today and thank all of our teachers who made that possible. And I actually cannot wait until December when we get to our last Principal Book Talk of the Year. I can't wait. All right, I'll see you there. Have a good one.